What is up everyone? Welcome to Heroes Avenue. My name is Darren and today we're not talking about any DC or Marvel stuff. Today we're talking about Ninja Turtles. Uh, yes, and this is because Seth Rogen who is producing the next Ninja Turtles reboot um, has posted something on Twitter giving us some clues on what to expect for his upcoming movie. Um, so this is, I think it's a pretty cool way of like conveying some information to the fans and what to expect and basically uh seth rogan he got a line piece of paper um and he kind of just doodled on it drew it drew some like drawings pretended he is a he's one of the Ninja turtles uh aka you know leonardo and then he wrote some notes about you know um basically he was pretending to be leonardo in class doodling while taking notes um, and it looks like they're taking he's taking notes like in a science class um, But if you look really if you really pay attention to what he's writing and you know um, Where he's coming from on how old and how old, you know Leonardo could possibly be while he's writing this It's I think it's easy to say that you know this iteration of Ninja Turtles is gonna be focused on the teenage aspect of Ninja Turtles, because as, as you can see, this looks like it's you know it's written in high school. You know they have um, he, he's doing a lot of doodling. Um, I mean, also he has the I, I forgot what it's called um, the format where you write your name at the upper right hand corner with the date and like the the um, the class that you're in. I forgot what that's called. Um, I forgot the format. It's been so long since I was in since I was in school, um, but he also has that. So that does tell us that he is in school. That Leonardo is in high school. The fact that he's writing honor and loyalty in flames. Um, well, honor is in, is is on is in flames, and the loyalty it looks like it's melting. <laughs> um, also, he he does a little throwback s a backward S that we all used to draw, draw as a kid. I don't know if kids still draw that S, but I know for sure in the 90s and in early 2000s, that was a thing. Um, and also, he writes the date, um, and it's a date in the future, August 11, 2023. So I'm assuming Seth Rogen is trying to convey that is going to be the release date of this Ninja Turtle reboot. So August 11, 2023, is something for us to look forward to, which is only two years away, um, and that is that is that is good to me, uh, to be honest. Um, and then what else is on here? And then you, I mean, you get some clues as to, you know, um, like Mikey and Raph and, and Donatello, who's my favorite. Um, he says he, he writes a little note on the bo bo bottom left hand corner: Mikey drama, Raph math, Donnie question mark. So I'm guessing that's. Like maybe that's where Mikey, Mikey's like favorite subject is, which is drama, which I could definitely see. Raph's favorite subject is math, which is kind of like surprising to me. And then Donnie is a question mark. Um, I'm curious if Donnie is going to be the dumb one. Or maybe, maybe Leonardo doesn't really know Donnie's favorite class. That Donnie is just so smart that he's good at everything. So maybe that's it. Um, but I'm really curious why he... <laughs> Into the question mark. Um, I would definitely, I, I would, for, for, to me, I would think Raph's favorite subject would be like PE or like sports, right? Uh, very st stereotypical. Um, but I like this. I like this. Uh, it gives us some hints on what to expect. He does draw, Seth Rogen does draw like a Ninja Turtle at the bottom left hand, uh, top left hand corner. Uh, he's like a Ninja Turtle with a beard. Looks like he has a beard. I'm not quite sure. He's also wearing like a cut off shirt. Um, I hope that's not what they're wearing in the movies. I hope to God that's not <laughs> that's not a clue of, of their of their costume. Um, I hope they don't have a costume uh, like like how they did in the CGI version. I don't I don't like the whole like wearing shorts and all these like um, all these clothes that they wear and gadgets. I I hated that aspect of. The, the most recent Ninja Turtles that we got. I just like my Ninja Turtles as turtles. You know, just with a, a bandana, but just a naked turtle. Just straight on turtle. I don't want a CGI version of my Ninja Turtles again. I want a animatronic costume like how we got in the 90s. Something that looks very realistic. 
uh, I felt like as a kid when I watched it, I was so amazed on how they were able to able to pull that off. Um, and it looks great. I mean, the '90s action scenes looks looks incredible. Uh, the first the first movie had really amazing action scenes. So did the second one, um, and so they were able to move very well. So it makes sense for them to go back to the '90s and give us that real feel again, um, and not and not rely on CGI. Um, I don't know if that really worked out that well. For me, I kind of felt like it kind of it kind of takes me out of the the movie because we're staring at the main characters and the main characters are cgi and if i'm staring at a cgi character compared to animatronic realistic version of it you know i'd rather choose that one instead um that's always that's been my gripe like ah i was so pissed that we got a cgi version uh in 2014 so I, I'm totally excited for this. Seth Rogen has been on a roll. I mean, this guy worked on Invincible, which was a killer series. Uh, he worked on The Boys. He produced The Boys. Uh, he also worked on um, uh, Preacher, which is also a great series as well. And he and he also produced The Good Boys. I mean, there's a long list of great projects that that Seth Rogen is attached to that is very successful. So I I definitely feel like Ninja Turtles is in the is in good hands. I mean, Seth Rogen seems to love, you know, these comic book uh, comic book projects, and it seems like he really knows his his stuff. And so that's all I want. I want someone behind the scenes that really knows what's going on and giving us that authentic feel uh, and something give us something that we never experienced before, right? And so I'm excited. Uh, August 11th, 2023. That is the date, guys. Hopefully, another another pandemic doesn't happen. Fingers crossed, um, and doesn't get pushed back. Um, and so this is it, this is totally exciting to me. I can't wait for more news. I hope that we get some like maybe we'll get like a a like a, a title graphic um, next, or maybe a a look at who will play who uh, in, in this movie. So let me know what your guys' thoughts on this. How do you guys feel about Seth Rogen's little teaser of his upcoming reboot of the Ninja Turtles? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys again. Peace.